Hi there, welcome back to Hard Drive. Everybody's been writing about the new Mitsubishi Evo 10. They say it's a remarkable car, how competent it is in dry on wet pavement. Have you ever seen any magazine or television show take one to a deeply rutted winter test track? Well, we were just crazy enough to do that. And here are the results. Well, here we are with the brand new 2010 Mitsubishi Evo. And Evo is an apt description for this car because every year Mitsubishi seems to tweak it, make it a little better, and not lose any of its charm, any of its sophistication, nor any of the reason that everybody wants one of these, the sheer raw performance. I'll say it again and again, Mitsubishi gets big kudos from us for building a car that you could just drive and drive for the sheer pleasure of it, but appointing it with some of the best accoutrement that you can possibly have in a car. BBS, Recaro, Brembo, all outstanding components that add up to more than the sum of their parts. That's the secret with Mitsubishi. They've got a good thing going here. If you have an opportunity to drop by a Mitsubishi dealer, it's worth the time to suck up a little bit and go for a test drive in the Evo. Even at street speeds, you have a sense of how good this car is. The suspension is less stiff than it's been in the, in the past. I always called the previous Evos kind of chippy. But every time I get in one of these brand new ones, I'm impressed by yet another thing. You don't want to know about the radio. You don't want to know about the navigation system. I'm certain that all of these things come stock. Leave them turned off. This is a car, a modern day car that you can really appreciate for the machine that it really is. Mitsubishi is doing it at least as well as the big guys, and they're doing it better than some of the big guys. My hat's off to you. You're driving a 300 horsepower car with a twin clutch transmission that works brilliantly with these paddle shifters, or you can manually shift it on the floor, or you can just let this excellent automatic transmission do what it does. And it does a phenomenal job. When Andy Pratt had the idea of bringing a Mitsubishi Evo up for what is ostensibly an SUV track day, <laughs> I thought he was nuts. But now that I've had an opportunity to drive it under these circumstances, I think he might have been on to something. Well, right off the bat, I have to agree with one of my colleagues who said that the traction control system in this car is fairly simple. It's not doing a lot of things with steering input and brakes and so on, but it is doing a heck of a good job of managing the power. And on this track, this little car has gobs and gobs of it. It's astonishing and how good this car is in some of the most challenging conditions that you could ever be expected to take a sports car through. There's a usable handbrake here, which this gives you one more element of control if you need it in a snowy traffic situation. With the traction control off, applications of power are sudden and rather violent. However, when you do need to get it woed down, the ABS system is excellent, and it's really the all-wheel drive and some really excellent snow tires that are doing the rest of it. And some of these ruts left by the SUVs come in handy for steering as well. Either way, driver aids on or off, you have to stay right on top of this car because what it does well, it does so well. And in a few cases so far this afternoon, it's doing it better than I can do them for myself. Now where are you ever going to get a sports car that is this good 
under these circumstances? Well, I'll tell you where. It's gonna be from Porsche. And the $60,000 price differential that you enjoy is gonna be definitely worth your while. I think I've actually worked up a sweat. And so you've gotta ask yourself, do you need a car like this? And absolutely not. But do you want a car like this? Yeah, baby, you want a car just like this.